Hello guys, welcome to today's video. I'm Trust and this is a TS Tech Talk video. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to transform an outfit and this is going to be a step-by-step -step guide. Guys, this will help you to transform an outfit from a different model to an AI model. Let's say um, a human, a human picture transformed the clothing into a different AI model's clothing. And this is going to be done professionally without any errors. And you can reuse this. And guys, I've actually done this. And these are the samples I actually came up with. Or these are rather the results of my recent uh, changes. So you can see how it looks. Let me take this down. So this is actually how it looks. Now, if you, are th if you think this is actually cool and okay, now let's dive into today's video. This is not perfect, but it's very good looking at it. But most times you should just pay attention to the images properly because sometimes there is usually error in the images or rather in the model's um, characters. But this, after you have done it properly, if done well, is actually accurate. So what I actually have to do first is actually go to um, Google to search for any AI model. So just look for any AI model that you think you can use. And this is going to be perfect. But um, I didn't actually have time to go to Instagram because I think with Instagram, you can get uh, better images or better quality images. But then you can actually come here and look for any images, any image rather. And just make sure that the quality of the image is actually very high. Uh, or rather, let's say, okay, so go ahead and save up the image. And now let's get working. Uh, the quality of this image is not that high. Anyway, I just took it. So make sure the quality of your own image is very high to give you better result or proper result. Now, um, the next thing you actually need to do, go ahead and type in this particular AI, ZMO, sorry, ZMO.AI.AI. So when you type this in, it's going to take you to um, the particular website or the AI. They do different things. So um, do not actually make the mistake. They actually have an um, image where you can just remove the background. You can easily remove background from an image making use of this tool. So you can click on this try background changer, but this is actually what you are going to be looking at the AI model changer. And you can actually notice the information that it says, put your product, um, um, put your product on the model this person does um, this person does not exist with your brand with your brand looks in minutes um, not weeks get a realistic view of your product and rather or your model on an ethical diverse range of digital models so this actually has multiple digital models it's not just one person if you look at it you can see there are actually three different people from different race and although it's not showing a black person but do not worry there is actually a black person in this so um the next thing you need to do is actually click on um you know this is where i clicked on more information on ai model now if you make the mistake on clicking on this try background changer it's going to take you to a different AI entirely and that is not what we are doing this is actually for people that are into mock-up changing the product um, background and other stuff that is not what we are doing do not forget make sure um, I think it actually clicked that oh, okay no this is actually accurate so let me click on it again scroll down to where it says AI model and then click on more information and it's going to take you to where you can uh, work on your AI with more information now to start working with your AI all you need to do is to click on start uh, from photo so click on start from photo now you are going to upload or rather drop an image so let me do that with this one first I'm going to do it with three di different images. so just to make sure that you guys actually understand this very well so um, it's going to start uploading now the upload is still loading anyway so once the upload is complete it's going to automatically take you to where you can edit this image now most of the times i actually make mistake of clicking outside so just allow it to load up and it's going to take you to where you can edit the images so let's give that a time all right guys so i think this is complete and it took us to where the image is now um once it displays this image this way there are you can see that there are different options right here there are add mask and there are remove mask now remove mask is actually to remove the area where you do not want to appear now add mask is actually to choose the one that you want to appear and automatically it was able to actually generate the image the ones on blue that's actually the ones on the add mask so you can notice everything right now on the clothing is on blue but it did not add the 
um, the images that are very simple, which is actually the styling. So um, you cannot do that if you are working on Ankara. And if you want to zoom in with your two thumb, you can zoom in, right? You can zoom in and zoom out. Move your two thumb on your mouse. So you zoom in and zoom out. So all I need to do is to add her belt. Once it's on blue, you will notice that it's already added. So I'm going to add all of this missing area. Sorry, I'm going to include all of this missing area. Mm, okay. All right, I'm done. So um, all of this area, the body, the legs are to be removed. But the crazy thing about this AI tool is that um, even though you didn't add the body, it's going to automatically add it to the new model that you are adding. So the new model you are adding is going to actually have this body on them automatically. So once you're done, just click on confirm and to confirm it. And also, let's say you actually noticed there was a mistake. You can always click on edit. It's going to load you to the edit area where you put or you add the mask. So let's say we actually selected this by mistake, which is the body. You can always remove that by choosing the remove and then selecting this. You can notice it has been removed now. So all you need to do, just click on confirm. Once you're done, scroll down a little bit and you can see different uh, model and gender. So you can choose different gender, let's say male or female. Let's choose female, it's actually female we're working on. And now you can actually notice there are different model. There are Hispanic, there are Ukraine, British, Caucasian, Latin, Oti. And since you are actually, since this is an Ankara and you can actually go for an athletic lady, which is actually athletic African. So you can actually go for muscular African. That is if it's what you want. But I think athletic African is okay. And you can see, see children right there or middle-aged. So let's see how middle-aged will look like. But I think this is actually a young lady. But um, let's just choose middle-aged. And I'm just choosing that so that you guys will know the difference. And you can also choose Corvi. Okay. Um, let's choose Corvi then. And... The next thing is actually for you to choose a background. So looking at this image is actually taken in a studio. So it has a plain background. Now just look at um, the images you have right here. You can scroll to see different images. So you can just use a brick wall since they actually use a wall right there. So I'm just going to either choose this or choose that. But I think this one is okay. And you can notice that this is actually a wall. So once you're done, you can hit generate. If, the, if this generate option is not active, which is not blue this way, let me click on this. Um, we can't do that. We can actually go back again. Don't worry. I'm going to show you guys what I mean. So just click on generate and the image is going to start generating. So once the image starts generating, you're just going to allow it the time to finish generating because this actually take time to generate your images for you and based on what you chose. So this is going to be completed in no time. So you do not actually have to worry and it's almost done or rather it's done. It's just loading up. Now you can see the lady. Now you can see how different this is from the original one. Okay, if you want to see how different it is, just click on preview to preview the image. So this is the original image and this is the AI generated image. But I think this image is actually not perfect because it seems this leg is bigger than this one. So um, <clears throat> all you need to do is to go next and I think this one is perfect. So um, if you are okay to settle with this, you can go ahead and download it. And you can still go forward. This is also not, this is not good, not good. This is okay. Uh, she was sitting in a chair, but the AI did not generate the chair properly. So somebody might think, okay, what is this? So, but that, uh, most people might not even pay attention to that. And this is supposed to be the best, but because of the leg, I am not choosing that. So we are going to end up with this one being the best. So if you have seen the one you like, all you need to do is to click on this three dotted icon and download preview. Now, if you say download preview, it's going to download the image in a lower resolution for you. But if you say download HD, is actually going to allow you to download it um, after you've actually made payment. So once you make your payment, you'll be able to download the HD version of this image. And it's actually going to be looking even better than the previous one because the quality is going to be higher. But if you are downloading the preview, you can still use it on your <clears throat> on other platform. 
All, all you just need to do is just to use a different application or a different tool to increase the resolution. So this is the image that has already downloaded for us and I can click on it to actually have it open. Hold on. Just double click and the image is going to load up and open. So there you go. This is the image and you can easily compare it with the original one, which is this. So you can now tell which is better. And I think this one is, is way better than the original one. Now, um, let's go ahead and do one more before we round up this video. So to work on a different task, you can notice on the left hand area, every image that you work on is going to be displaying right here. These are the previous one I've done. You can always go back to them by clicking on this area. It's going to load up and display the image for you. So it actually saves your image as long as you are signed in. So um, I didn't actually mention when you click on this image, you actually need to sign in. Immediately you click on this area, you actually need to sign up with the AI tool. Now to create a new task, just click on new task and it's going to load up and open a new task for you. So I'm going to create the last image. I'm going to upload the last image, which is this one. Now the reason why I'm uploading this is because she's outside and I want to use a different uh, features for her. So um, now let's wait for it to upload and then we start working. All right, uh, the upload is almost done. Okay, the upload is complete and you can notice the AI again actually mask out the image and excluding the uh, important features. So all we need to do is to add them up, add all of those features in, make sure that everything you want to see is actually in blue. Let me zoom in a little bit because I think the AI is actually not seeing everything. The only challenge you might have using this tool is actually moving um, moving to the exact position that you want. But if you are using this on mobile, it's actually perfect. Or rather, not perfect, actually. It's actually easier to actually do all of this. And the uh, scarf or the bandana, um, it's also the scarf is also going to be shown. So I'm going to click on confirm. Now, this has been confirmed. Now, all we need to do is to generate our image. So I'm going to do that with um, an African girl and i am going to since it's an outdoor i am going to choose um this is actually a very good outdoor because the image is actually outside and let me choose this and i'm going to click on generate and it's going to generate our image you can see that the image is being generated so let's allow it some time to complete all right our image has generated successfully and we can now preview so this is the original and this is uh, the generated AI generated image and she even look more beautiful than this person. She doesn't actually wear a makeup or rather she doesn't wear an eyelashes, but then the building is not quite bad. Um, and the arms, these arms are not looking too good, but then this particular image is actually okay. And you can still see the next one. This is actually, um, not so bad not so bad okay all of these images are not too bad but it's just that you are going to notice the arms but who pays attention to the arms anyway very few people actually notice but then it's not perfect but this is actually very good i think with time this ai is going to actually improve and until then i think most of these images are very very good they are so so unexpected and i do not know what to say about this so guys if you think this is actually going to be helpful to you and it's going to be useful i encourage you to try it out and if you have any question or any confusion in this video please do let me know and hopefully i'll be able to assist you with that definitely i will be able to assist you with that um thank you for watching the video and i will see you on my next video please stay safe and then peace